Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex, and I'm back with another video. Today, we are filming from my hotel room. I'm actually in Virginia for a work conference. So, you know, when I don't have my setup at home, I have to take you guys on the go with me. So, without further ado, let's get on to the video and we'll figure out what we're doing from there. Uh, so first things first, we're going to clip our hair back. Now this is gonna be a little different for me because I don't have uh, a big mirror in front of me and the lights here are so harsh for lighting. So we're gonna, we're just gonna go with it. So for today's look, there has been a look that has been trending all over social media. I'm sure you've seen it. It is called the Espresso, also known as Espresso, the Espresso look. I'm going to be using the old school Too Faced chocolate bar palette. Yes, this is an old palette. Here are the colors. So we're gonna be using that palette. We're gonna also kick it back to the Peanut Butter and Jelly Too Faced palette. Now here are these colors here. Oh my goodness. Apparently this broke on the plane and it just spilled everywhere on me. So apparently for the rest of the night, I'm going to have gold sparkles all over my, my, my top. <laughs> so this is the Too Faced Palm Springs Dream Palette. Here are those beautiful colors. We might use a brown shade out of that one. Now what I loved about the chocolate bars back in the day, these, beautiful palettes was I love the fact that they smelled like chocolate. Now, of course, while we do our eye look, we're gonna be using the Estee Lauder Futurist Aqua Brilliance. This is their primer that I love. So now since I don't have my big mirror, I'm going to be going a little blind into things. And I do have a tiny, tiny, tiny little mirror here. Just this tiny little thing here. Hoping that will be good enough. I love the way this primer feels. It really does feel like I'm just putting on face cream. I'm gonna let that set. All right, let's zoom on in. All right, you know, first things first, we have to go in with our P. Louise. This is the base in shade Rumor 0.5. Just gonna go in with a flat brush. And you know, a little goes a long way. So I'm really enjoying this work conference. It's nice to be back in Virginia. I used to live in this area. I lived here from 20, when did we move here? 2000. I think it was 2000. Yeah, we moved here 2000. And then I left for college in 2006. No, 2005, because I graduated college in 2005. I put way too much on, but I can scoop some up. Take it over here. So I graduated college and I moved to, or yeah, I moved to Tennessee and then I went to college and I was in Tennessee at college until 2009. And then I moved back to Virginia. I became a police officer and I lived in Virginia until July of 2015. Just need just a smidge more on this one here. So I lived here, but I moved to Vegas because I could not afford to live in Virginia, especially Northern Virginia. It was just way too expensive. And I no longer wanted to live at home with my parents and they understood because they said if they had to buy their house all over again, they wouldn't be able to afford it. So it, it's hard times. 
And it was funny because houses were still so expensive in Northern Virginia in 2000, in 2009, even after the market <laughs> crashed, it was still so hard <laughs> to buy a house because even the houses that were foreclosed upon, um, even those houses were over 300,000. It was insane. All right, so we're gonna take a very big fluffy brush and we're gonna go in with, from the Chocolate Bar palette from Too Faced with the shade White Chocolate. Of course, we're gonna push this out so there's no creases. And push it in. So tonight, we're gonna go to dinner. We're gonna go to this Italian restaurant. I think it's called Chow something or other, but we're gonna go there. I'm excited, but we were supposed to go to Blue Ridge Seafood tonight, but apparently they're closed on Mondays. And I'm hoping that some of my Virginia friends can make it this week to see me. I haven't seen anybody in, gosh, it's been a while. Actually, probably since I moved. And it's been almost a decade, yeah? Yeah, almost a decade. So I moved to Vegas with now, well, he's my ex-boyfriend now, but so we moved to Vegas together and we bought a house and it didn't work out with us. We were just better friends than dating. So we broke up, sold the house, and then I bought my house. And now he met the love of his life and he's getting married. And yes, I'm happy for him. So we're gonna go in with the shade Hazelnut from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. We're gonna go in with the shade Hazelnut. We're gonna be using this brush right here. And we're just popping this right here in that crease. Now, if I remember correctly, these palettes were not very, like they're pigmented, but they were kind of chalky. And I'm seeing like, it was seeing some of the patchiness right there right now. So just going a little above the crease because again, hooded eyes, you and I, if you have hooded eyes, we will lose our beautiful makeup look if we do not go in the crease and a little bit above. It will just hide from us. And sorry I keep spinning. I don't know how to stop. <laughs> I don't know how to stop this chair from moving. It's like, it's the worst. And then without my mirror, I'm not hands-free. So it's very, this is a very weird setup for me, but I appreciate you guys being so awesome and patient with me as always. You guys are the best. Just a little bit more, it's a little patchy. Feeling a little patchy. Now we're gonna go in with the shade Hot Chocolate from the Chocolate Bar Palette. We're just gonna put this a little bit lower and just slowly work it over. Because I don't have the right, because I don't have the right brushes with me. I'm doing my best. So I'm excited to go to this dinner tonight. And the best part about going away for travel is you get to meet new people and you get to go out and network, meet other people in your career field, and it's great. It's really wonderful. Do you guys ever get to go anywhere fun for your work? For my old job, I used to love going to Utah. I like the drive to Utah. I think it's the most beautiful drive I've ever seen in my life. To kind of blend this out a little bit, but it looks like we're just gonna have to use a brush like this to just go back in with a little bit of hazelnut just to marry these two together and blend them out. So the brown's not so harsh from that second color we used. It's a little patchy, but we're gonna have to make it work, work for us. So then we're gonna go in with a little bit of, we're gonna go in a little bit with a smaller brush like this we're gonna dip into the triple fudge shade. Just a little bit of a toop. <laughs> and we're just gonna push it in 
to the lash line and then bring it up. I just want to smoke her out a little bit. Although I don't have the right brushes, it's okay. We will make it work. And then of course bringing that V in. Yeah, you can see how kind of patchy it is. And I remember it being patchy like that. I like how one side's patchy and the other is not really, but we're gonna go in with the NYX. This is the pencil in shade Cool Ash Brown. Yes, I do need to get my brows waxed. Did not have time to do it before I left. I'm very happy to be here on this work trip. It feels nice to get out of the office sometimes and just do something a little off, not off the beaten path, but something I don't get to do every day. Just trying to fill in these brows here, make them look nice, even though they're a little bushy. <laughs> Cause I for sure need to get them done, which I'm getting them done, I'm pretty sure next Saturday. All right, so now the brows are done because I wanted to do that before I forgot. We are gonna put down, we're gonna put down the shade Hot Chocolate. So we're just putting it down right in the middle because I wanna have this really beautiful shimmery shade, but I might have to put it down with my finger which I think is what might happen. See, now I don't know if I should do it like a little bit deeper down there or not. I don't think I'm going to. I think what I'm gonna do is do, do more of a lighter shade. So we're gonna go in with Champagne Truffle and just pop it on the inner corner right here. Blend it up there a little bit. Then we're gonna go in with the semi sweet color and just blend a little bit here. Hopefully, I can fix this patchiness on this side. Ugh. It doesn't look like it. I don't, I don't wanna tug at my eye. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so I think this looks really pretty. I'm gonna do just a little bit underneath here. We're just using that semi-sweet color. All right, I'm gonna go clean up my eyes and I will be back and we will do foundation and lips and all that good stuff. We're gonna be going in with the foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear and I am in the shade 1C1. We're gonna go in with a damp beauty sponge here. Hopefully, oh, not too much. The only thing I do not like about this bottle is <laughs> there's like not a pump. You can't really control how much comes out of it. And so that is a little, a little annoying. And this shade does seem a little whitewashed. I did get some sun going hiking uh, two weekends ago. If you follow me on the gram, you might have seen it. We are going to use the Skin Siller from Estee Lauder in the shade 1C. I'm gonna try to cover that up. And then just along the side here and here. Oh yeah, that looks nice, that really there must be something big going on because there are sirens going off, y'all. Trying to squish it into the nose folds. Now, of course, we're going to use the Becca Satin Refresh. Is this Satin Refresh? No, 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 no. This is the Pink Haze. This is Soft Light Blurring Powder. So, I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. And we're gonna make it look like we don't have any skin. Just kidding. 
Like we don't have any flaws. We have skin. Of course, we're gonna go though in and set the under eyes with this. Now it makes me look like I have a pink hue to me. Ugh. I don't think that went as well as I thought it was gonna be. I hope this wears down a little bit. I mean, it is a beautiful blurring. Of course, brush out the lashes. All right, so for blush, we're gonna be going in with the NARS and we're gonna be using the shade Orgasm. It's a really pretty rosy shade. Now it does look really pink, however, it will tone down just a little bit when we put on bronzer. We hope. And then for bronzer, we're gonna go in with the NARS and the shade is Laguna. This is one of my favorites. And then use a fluffier brush to really blend that together. Give a really beautiful, flawless look. And I like to just blend a little right in here. It's really interesting, this work conference too. I'm meeting a lot of people, because my mom and I are in the same career field, and I'm meeting a lot of people that my mom knows. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's kind of funny. They're like, oh my gosh, you're like a mini your mom. Yes, I am. It's funny because when I was little, I used to not, well, I used to want to be like her. And then I got to a teenager. I'm like, I don't want to be anything like my mom. And now, heck yeah, I want to be like my mom. You know, blending harsh lines. We're going to use a little bit of this hourglass. We we'll use the shade Champagne Truffle actually from, from the Chocolate Bar palette. I almost don't even need a highlighter. Look how pretty that is. Like anywhere else except for my nose. That's really pretty. Okay. Now we're gonna set the brows in place. I got the NYX, the brow glue. <laughs> so interesting. All right, just kind of spooling it through there. Make it look a little fluffier, a little full brow moment, and also helps get the product off. It helps kind of fill the gaps in a little bit. I wanted to get the colored one, but I was a little afraid so I opted for the clear. So maybe next time I'll try to get a little color just because I think the color deposit would look really nice. All right, last but not least, we're going to do the P. Louise in Sugar Coated. So I'm gonna fill my whole lip with this color. It's a little nudie. However, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a deeper. And this is in the shade Your Yummy. But I'm going to do my hair, get ready for dinner, and I will pop back in momentarily uh, to give my rundowns. Actually, we're gonna do it in the natural light though, because I want you guys to see how good this look looks in natural light. All right, I will come back uh, in natural light and show you guys. All right, so here is the final look. Uh, the blush is a little, it's definitely a little too pink and 
I think I'm a little too heavy on the foundation today. Um, we'll see how it settles in. I will do a check back in. But I wanted to show you guys the eye look in natural light. It was obviously the lighting in my hotel room it was not the best. And I tried my best for you guys. But all right, what do we think? I think I'll definitely try it with a different palette. But I wanted to do a little throwback with the chocolate bar palette. And a little nostalgia. So, all right, I'll pop back in a little bit. We're gonna go eat, so I will see you guys soon. All right, so I am back in my room, end of the day. Um, my makeup held up okay. It looks a little splotchy. Uh, I, I don't know, I think I'm gonna throw that palette out. It's so old, guys, like, and I'm not using the camera because uh, just <laughs> the lighting right now is just kind of, different um there's no separation today however in like bright light uh what is it called um in the fluorescent fluorescent light and fluorescent light it just i have a shadow on my face where it's just ugh. but as much as i love this palette this palette is going to go in the garbage because it's old and it doesn't really smell like chocolate anymore, so... <laughs> Bye to the chocolate bar palette. So, what did you guys think of this makeup look? Are you going to try it? I think maybe I'll look up some more espresso makeup looks and we can try out some. Who are your favorite content creators that have really mastered this look? Maybe I could use a tutorial. Anyways, I'm so glad that you guys stopped by, you watched the video, and I hope you enjoy the bloopers here at the end. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Hit that bell icon so you get notified each and every time I upload a video. Don't forget, thumbs up. See you next time. And it would help if I had palettes. Oh, here they are. So for today's look, we're going to be using... Everything just falls on me. Oh, we got over everything. Just a little bit of a dupe. Ew, what was that I was making? A little dupe. <laughs> Faces I make. <laughs>